latest on Kilauea volcano that is now erupting. It started erupting Hawaii time, 9.30 Sunday evening. The crater lake is now replaced by lava. This happened after a magnitude 4.4 earthquake in Kilauea. The Halimama crater is now erupting. The U.S. Geological Survey has this latest information. They came out with a statement. Hawaii Volcano Observatory recorded a magnitude 4.4 earthquake located underneath Kilauea Volcano's south flank on Sunday, December 20th, 1036 local time. The earthquake was centered about 8.7 miles south of Fern Forest near the Holei Pali area of Hawaii Volcano National Park at a depth of four miles. A map showing its location is posted on HVO website. Now, weak to light shaking with maximum intensity of four has been reported across the island of Hawaii. Now, this 4.4 magnitude shook all of the Hawaii islands. Now, at that intensity, significant damage to buildings or structures is not expected. The USGS did you feel it service received over 500 felt reports. It's up to about almost 600 now within the first hour of the earthquake. Kindly support my Patreon channel because YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. You'll find at least five videos daily, even though there's a lot more because of YouTube restrictions on sensitive election material. I'm sure you'll find them interesting. They're totally different from what I have on YouTube. You'll find the link in the description box below each video. Thank you so much for your support. Now this is a USGS image of the eruption that happened. This is the flank erupting. Now according to HVO active acting scientist in charge David Phillips, HVO continues to monitor Kilauea as the situation is rapidly evolving. With this evening's eruption at the summit of Kilauea, we will send out further notifications on Kilauea and other Hawaiian volcanoes as we observe changes. Kilauea South Flank has been the site of over 30 earthquakes of magnitude 4 or greater during the past 20 years. Most are caused by abrupt motion of the volcano South Flank, which moves to the southeast over the oceanic crust. It's splitting away. It's moving down. It's dislocating. Now, the local depth and waveforms recorded as part of today's earthquakes are consistent with motion along the south flank detachment fault. And for information on recent earthquakes, uh, I'll leave a link below for you. This is from USGS. And now the Hawaii, the, uh, Hawaii Volcano Observatory, one of the five volcano observatories in the USGS and uh, responsible for monitoring earthquakes in Hawaii. Now, shortly after 9.30 Hawaii time, USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory detected glow within the Halimama crater at the summit of Kilauea Volcano. An eruption has commenced within Kilauea summit caldera. The situation is rapidly evolving and HVO will issue another statement when more information is available. According to HVO, HVO has elevated Kilauea's volcano alert to warning and its aviation color code is now red. Alert levels and aviation codes you can find on USGS. Now, HVO continues to monitor the volcano and report will report on significant changes. And uh, HVO is in communication with Hawaii's Volcano National Park as the situation which is taking place within the park evolves. This is what they said concerning the recent observations. For the past several weeks, the H uh, USGS Hawaii Volcano Observatory, HVO, has recorded ground deformation and earthquake rates at Kilauea's volcano summit in Upper East Rift Zone that have exceeded background levels observed since the conclusion of the 2018 Lower East Rift Zone eruption and summit collapse. Beginning in September 2020, increased rates of uplift were observed by GPS stations in Kilauea's Upper East Rift Zone. In the past month, increased uplift has also been measured at GPS stations in Kilauea's summit region. And while uplift related to post-collapse inflation of the summit reservoir has been occurring since March of 2019, rates have been steadily increasing in recent months and are currently higher than they've been since the end of the 2018 eruption. In late November 2020, increased earthquake rates began when seismic stations recorded an average of at least 480 shallow Small magnitude earthquakes, 97% of which were less than equal to magnitude 2 per week, occurring at the depths of less than 
two and a half miles depth, depth beneath Kilauea summit and upper East Rift zone. This compares to a rate of fewer than 180 per week following the end of Kilauea's 2018 eruption and through early November 2020. On December 2nd, 2020, GPS stations and tilt meters recorded a ground deformation event at Kilauea summit accompanied by earthquake swarms. The patterns of ground deformation observed were consistent with a small dike intrusion of magma under the southern part of Kilauea caldera. The injection resulted in about three inches of uplift of the caldera floor. And modeling suggests that it represents about 0.4 to 0.7 million, million cubic meters or yards of magma accumulating approximately one mile under the surface. Though the intrusion did not reach the surface and erupt, it represented a notable excursion from trends observed in Kilauea summit monitoring data streams following the end of the 2018 eruption. On December 17th, seismometers detected a notable increase in occurrence and duration of long period seismic signals beneath Kilauea summit, which are attributed to magmatic activity. Whereas this type of seismicity was observed on average every, uh, once every few weeks following the 2018 eruption, rates have increased to over a dozen in the past several days. Other monitoring data streams include volcanic gas and webcam imagery where were stable until this eruption. An earthquake swarm began in the evening of December 20th, accompanied by ground deformation detected by tilt meters. An orange glow was subsequently observed on IR monitoring cameras, that's infrared monitoring cameras, and visually beginning approximately 21.36 hours HST. That's about 9.30 in the evening. So uh, HVO is assessing the hazards associated with this eruption. We'll provide updates as information becomes known. At the present time, no explosions have been detected. And uh, for discussion, you can go to USGS and find out what's going on. So this is the latest update on USGS. And I'll leave links below for you for this. Thank you for your support. All of you who are living there, please be very careful. I just had a comment from someone who lives in Utah that uh, they have felt shaking there. Let's remember that, okay, Utah, we know that uh, is in the line of uh, magma that comes from Baja, California, stretches up and goes into uh, Yellowstone. So let's be careful. All of you there, please be careful. Now, we did have a 4.3 Utah earthquake, but I'll make another video on that. That's pretty big. And that was surface depth. It was uh, very uh, superficial, zero kilometer depth. So it was right on the surface. That's why a lot of people there felt it. Have a beautiful Christmas season. God bless you and give you joy, prosperity, and health. And thank you for your support.